to this is by you here it have been a couple of weeks before I talked to you <coughs> I've been busy doing nothing <laughs> no problem with my producer I tell you but she's not happy or you're not gonna get a video uh, let's talk about shoes um, this is a uh, they used to be nice pair of boots. They are maybe seven or eight years old. Uh, if you look at the sole, actually, they're still good. But if you look at the uh, the upper part, you know, they look rough. Uh, they started to glue the top uh, right here too. See. Okay, uh, the, and the, the cracking, and the, I was walking with them, and, and I put it on, they had no problem, but all of a sudden, check this out, guys, it came completely off, and uh, I was going down the hill in a little rocky area, and there's something kind of bothered me, I said, what the hell's wrong, I, mean, I twist, uh, twisted my, uh, my, my, my heel, my leg, and then I kind of stop, and when I stop, I leave my 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 foot, and then I saw the oh gosh. I was wearing my uh, my combat belt, and uh, back then uh, this is this is just for a little walk. I didn't have a tape or a little piece of rope. You know, I got everything else: my little nose maker, my pad, my pouch of water, and stuff like that. But. Uh, See, this is only for a little walk, and then I had the tape. 100 miles hour tape or gorilla tape. Uh, and then I was thinking, oh, how can it be that the soul is still good? And then, uh, look at it. I mean, it's like the whole thing is coming out. And I remember that in uh, um, uh, Latin America, a lot of people have these uh, boots uh, manually sewn on the side. So you you don't want that with this problem, okay? But let's talk about uh, 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 HT, uh, uh, HT uh, uh, stuff, uh, hitting the fan, little problems. This is a, a military copy of boots that I got it from uh, Academy. It's old. I don't, as you can see, the sole is perfect, so I don't wear it too much. Maybe twice every six months, so they last a long time. But what I notice is that sometimes when you have it in the closet, the glue dries up and it comes apart. Now, what I have right here is another set of boot. This is maybe also uh, the same, same amount of time that this one. Uh, this is summertime, uh, spring, um, fall, but this is specific, specifically for winter because it's, it's, it's double. Okay, so uh, uh, this reminds me of the German boots I used to have when I was stationed in, in Fulda, Germany. Uh, they keep you, they keep you nice and warm in the summer, and the heel and everything else still um, uh, glue, uh, no problems. And as you can see, I put wax in the home shorts right here. Keep it stuck now. Now, now <clears throat> I purchased this use. The, the, this is not the latest model. The latest model. Holy cow, I scared the hell out of me. Uh, you know, the gray, the little, uh, not green, but beige. That's a new style. This is the old uh, uh, Iraq and Afghanistan deal. But uh, as you can see, uh, this is a different style, and it looks like it's glue okay, but you never know. So, if you don't have a military grade boot style, my recommendation is stick to one of these. Now, why do I like this rubberized boot? Because it keeps you uh, feet wet when you walk in water, and because the uh, Colombian Farsi, the gorillas in Colombia, that's all they use, but not the stick. They use the light ones. And then uh, they get the feet, uh, they get the feet uh, dry, uh, easy to take it off and on. And then I have to wear, uh, some females don't even wear socks. Don't 
next week I cannot have two without socks. But uh, you need to consider this style boot, you know, I don't know how much they run for. The, the black ones are $20, $19. But uh, this lasts as long as you don't get cut. You don't get a cut, but if, if you have a reinforcement like this one for, uh, uh, this is a tinsulator too. So what you want to do is you want to avoid this issue because you are walking in the wood and all of a sudden you have these problems and you have no tape or no needles to fix it, you are a lot, guys. And like I said before, if you take a close look at the uh, sole of this, it's not, I'm not even walking crooked, see? But with, with this, you can't use it, that doesn't serve somebody anymore. So, take a look at your shoes, guys. I, uh, everybody in the, uh, in the community, preppers, talk about everything else, but they never talk about shoes. Now, uh, uh, having to put some time in the military, I know you have to have a, a pair of uh, shower shoes with you, and the shower shoes don't weigh not even six ounces, maybe three ounces. So have some type of sandals that you can use uh, just in case of emergency, uh, if something like this happens, okay, or oh, one of those uh, swimming pool or, or ocean shoes or beach shoes that they look nice. And then, you know, at least you won't be walking barefooted with the socks. That makes no sense. Okay, guys, shorts are sweet. Take care of your shoes. Take a look at it. If you have an old-timer a shoemaker, you know, you can pay a few dollars. Hey, hi, could you do and so the sold to the booty sale? See how much they charge you. Hopefully it won't be more than 20 bucks. But with that, you know that you have a solid pair of boots that you're not going to have these problems. Okay? Talk to you later. Behave. I'm gonna throw this.